Hello there, my crypto bitch brothers and sisters. We're back, and I'm here with Papa Ron. We hadn't been here for a while, but that's okay, huh, Ron? <laughs> yeah, we've been uh, both missing in action for about a week. Yeah, we had things to do. What the, what the, what the, whoa, 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 hold on before we get into this really big shoe. What are you eating? Really big shoe? <laughs> Say what? What are you eating? Oh, my gosh. I'm eating homemade apple pie. <laughs> yeah. I came yeah. down with you and you called me and said, we're making a video. I said, oh, my gosh, I can't, I can't stop eating my pie. I mean, <laughs> this is American apple right. pie, baby. <laughs> you, you eating all talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to talk to you while you're, while you're munching out and we're all okay. envious because you got homemade pie. Yeah. Um, a couple seasons ago, I tuned in, and I, I want to talk to you about how mainstream Bitcoin is becoming. It is okay. becoming more prevalent out there. It is. I, uh, I started watching a series called Designated Survivor, and I pulled up their site so you can see who I'm talking about. This Kiefer Sutherland. Sutter, Sutter, this guy right here in the middle. <laughs> Kiefer S Sutherland. Sutherland. Uh -huh. He was the big star on 24, I think. You remember that? This is his wife here in the show. And anyway, um, the show deals with where the, the United States White House, they had a big meeting there with the presidency, the Congress, the Senate, everybody gets blown up. And he is this lone senator, brand new, on the outskirts. And he's, he's called the designated survivor. And he's put in as president of the United States. So the show is about him trying to get the government back in place and the White House rebuilt and, and all the trials that he's going through. It's been a great show. But not the episode that they just had, but the one before that, Rod, they mentioned Bitcoin twice in the show that night. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, I thought yeah, that was pretty cool. I thought it was cool. You know, it's become a little... And they didn't mention it like, hey, what is this Bitcoin stuff? No, they mentioned it like everybody was aware of it. They said, oh, it had to be some kind of Bitcoin transaction that took place there. And anyway, it's it's even being put into some of the popular series. So I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, really. Then I had uh, one more news article, and it's from the IMF chairman, International Monetary Fund, that Christine yes. Legrand, I'm sure you've yeah. heard of her. Absolutely. She uh, she's the IMF director. This is her here in this video, but we're not going to watch that. Good. But here's the comment she made: <laughs> IMF director Christine Legrand, Bitcoin is too expensive for me at the time. And what is oh it about? My hell. about <laughs> it's what? about forty two hundred bucks. How much she make? Well, she make? A, a half a mil a year? <laughs> that it's it's exactly right. It's I pulled really? up this other thing. She makes a. Uh, 298,000 euros a yeah. year, which translates, oh. equates into 465,000 U.S. dollars. Well, I don't care if that's $298,000. That's still, she, she makes a hell of a lot more than I do. <laughs> you and I are both living on oh United States gosh. Social Security. Absolutely. We're still buying Bitcoin every month, and she yeah. makes close to a half mil, and she can't afford it. She can't afford fifty bucks a month, man. The, the, the point <laughs> is, well, I, I can afford that. <laughs> I think it's these misleading titles that drive me nuts. Uh, it just makes me bonkers because here's another banker, just like Jamie Dimon and some of them, trying to downplay crypto and Bitcoin. So they come up with ridiculous titles like this. She can afford Bitcoin, anyway. L let's I get think on. It's funny. I think, well, I think she's really funny. <laughs> she must be a comedian. <laughs> yeah, you know how I get worked up about stupid things, but anyway. I hear that. So let's get on with the show. It's about Bitcoin gold or Bitcoin and another hard fork about to take place. Oh, good. Let's see it. Um, the date is October 25th. That Bitcoin is supposed to fork again. Yes. Bitcoin gold. Um, there's a gentleman out of Hong Kong. I'm going to give you a little background. And, and those okay. folks that are new to Bitcoin and maybe to this hard fork, soft fork, user activated soft fork, 
If you're not familiar with kind of what that is, we have previous videos that kind of explain it in more depth about why these take place and what they're all about. But basically, it's a change in protocol within the platform and the blockchain. So it's a change of software, kind of. It's new rules that have come out. They can't always just instigate them on the blockchain that's moving forward, this ledger of transactions. Sometimes these rules change enough and the software needs to change enough where there's actually a split, a fork, kind of in the road. Some, some of the developers or miners want to stay on the original path and this new idea, this new protocol is going to fork off. Um, basically, in simple terms, that's kind of what it is. Uh, and so you have this gentleman out of Hong Kong, and he he uh, is part owner, I think, of a company called Lightning, A-S-I-C. And he manufactures, they manufacture computer parts that help mine Bitcoin along with other crypto coins and tokens. And he thinks that this mining thing with Bitcoin is becoming too centralized. That there's there's too few players in control that have all the power. One of those yeah. being Bitmain. And uh, Rod and I did a pretty extensive video on Bitmain too, if you want to go back yeah. and learn more about them. But I do have a couple quick... Um, slides bit yeah. bitmain they i think they are the biggest supplier of computer parts for mining bitcoin and they have these warehouses in china that do nothing but mine bitcoin with these computer parts that they manufacture big money matter of fact i think the top 3 mining companies are in china because the electricity is so much more reasonable than it is here in the United States. Oh, yeah. And we know that, that mining Bitcoin electricity is one of the issues. Yeah. When it first started, you know, you could mine it on your own home personal computer with a decent graphics card. Yep. And uh, the electricity just, the bills kept getting so high that it's like, oh, it's, it wasn't worth so eventually they developed into these big warehouses they went to china because the electricity is so much more reasonable and people like rod and i and and you folks it's hard just to mine bitcoin anymore you can't do it because no. it's so much more advanced now so bitmain one of the he is the biggest supplier of these computer parts he's got some of the biggest warehouses and um, this gentleman in China thinks that it's becoming too centralized, too much power for the few. So his, his idea was he wants to take this Bitcoin gold, fork it off, and get back to the people being able to mine Bitcoin again. Yeah, that would be good. Through decent graphic cards. Um, so that, that protocol change, those new thing requires to fork off of of what we have now now you know it wasn't too long ago i think it was back in august we had bitcoin cash that forked off of bitcoin yep, yep they did and uh you know there was kind of a, a on the scalability there was some discrepancy there between some of the uh, original developers and the miners and bitmain was also part of that and so they forked off, wanting to uh, change, make the scalability quicker and less fees, and the miners didn't want to do all those changes. And part of that, the SegWit 2, which is going to change the block size, and all a block is, is it holds transactions of Bitcoin transactions. Um, they want to change that block size from one megaton to two megatons. And uh, that's coming up in November. So Bitcoin Gold wants to get back into mining in the hands of the people. Now, 
they don't have a real legitimate website. They do have a page there. It's a single page with their logo on it. Then they have a Facebook and a Twitter account and some of that. <laughs> and, and their white paper isn't isn't published yet. That won't be published till into November sometime. So the hard fork takes place October 25th. They're going live with Bitcoin Gold November 1st, and then the yep. white paper's coming out. So some of the some of the people are saying, "Well, what's the rush? Why don't you get all that put together first and then fork?" Well, I, I think some of the speculation says that they're trying to beat this segwit to yeah, yeah. this increase in the block size. Now, similar to Bitcoin Cash Rod, for any Bitcoin you hold come October 25th, when this fork takes place, you will get matching coins oh. in Bitcoin Gold. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, just like everybody did with Bitcoin Cash. And then Cash, once it yeah. gets onto a, an exchange, you'll be able to sell it or exchange it. And, and it was kind of weird because the prices were kind of volatile there for a while. Yeah. Um, some people were cashing out at the four, five, six hundred range, and then it jumped up, I think, to nine and even twelve hundred for a little yeah, bit there. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It, but Bitcoin quick, yeah. Cash is still plugging along. Yes, um, it is. I did get this. Uh, I did see this little chart here on their uh, Twitter page. Yeah. And it has all four coins listed here. Bitcoin, Bitcoin Gold, there's cash, and there's the uh, uh, SegWit 2 coming, I think. Everything's pretty much the same, except this GPU here. Bitcoin Gold, again, wants to start mining back with graphic cards on personal computers. Yes. I, I think it might be a pretty cool deal. Um, I think so, too. I think people like to mine and get something, not for free, but, you know, to earn those coins. And if their, if their chain takes off like Bitcoin Cash kind of did, you know, it might be a little profitable to start mining those, Rod. I think so. You know, it's, for the, it's mainly this uh, Bitcoin gold is for the casual user. So that means the casual user. That only means like me and you. We're casual. That's right, hey. I mean, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. But you're right. It'll bring it back to where some of us not real techno-type people can get into this a little bit again. Yeah, you know, it's and, good. Uh, maybe it would get rid of the uh, monopoly on the Bitcoin. That'd be nice. Yeah, I, look I, at that. yeah I had a couple other images here. <laughs> Here, here's 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 uh, where all the hash rate goes mining Bitcoin. This dark color here, this ant pool. Th this graph shows about eighteen percent, but really this is Bitmains, and actually he's close to closer to thirty percent now of of his his of Bitmains mining takes place. It's closer to thirty percent out of all the mining that takes place. Um. And then there was uh, that was another announcement I skipped. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to show you too, Rod. <laughs> There's been uh, on their Twitter account also. They kind of made an announcement here to be careful of scams. I guess there's already stuff like this showing up. Create your Bitcoin Gold wallet and claim the Bitcoin Gold. Well, this is a little premature, and evidently this would require you to give up your private keys and all. And all, all they're saying is, hey, be careful, because there's already scams out there. That, oh, yeah. So you don't want to oh, fall into any of those things. Uh, that's a good warning, yeah. Yeah. So it could be a cool deal. I think as it gets closer, we might do one more video on this as more news breaks and, and the more that they have exactly what's going to go on and take place, we'll probably do another video on it. Yeah. But Let's do. it's it's worth knowing about. We just it uh, is. I know it's been out there a little bit, but you know we we want to give our two cents worth, and uh, some of our viewers might not be aware of it yet. Yeah, I'm going to put my two cents on uh, uh, Bitcoin Gold. <laughs> I'll go with you. I'll chip a nickel in, brother. <laughs> oh boy, you're a high roller, <laughs> folks. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Be sure and put a thumbs up. And also uh, put the subscribe if you like us, because we have fun. We like doing these videos, 
and God bless.